Seven, I mean, agenda item eight is our final, our county manager's report. Ms. Dude. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, commissioners. <clears throat> Over the past couple of months, in accordance with the direction the commission has given staff to explore opportunities for broadband expansion here in Lowndes County, uh, we have met with several providers. Um, there is ARP funding that is available through the state. Um, the grant deadline was moved to the end of October um, for that. And in all of those discussions that also included Jason Shaw, our Public Service Commission representative, um, the most viable uh, grant request that we have received is from Windstream. And so staff would like to request permission to move forward as the lead applicant with Windstream. This is no financial obligation on part of the county. Um, but we have looked at their plan extensively. They've used DCA's map for um, those without service and those underserved, which means they don't have enough broadband to actually be able to, to get out or for their internet to work very well. The, the uh, Windstream plan does include 18,900 locations at a total cost of $36.3 million. The grant request is for $16.2 million, and then Windstream plans an investment of $20.1 million. There's also um, a good, not quite as efficient proposal from Hargrave um, for 10,300 locations at a cost of 54 million, and they plan to split that if awarded uh, 27 to 27. Um, the positive thing, Mediacom also has a proposal. We have not seen that. The positive thing for us is that if any of these are approved, we are in good shape. These are all great providers. Their plans are good. We've looked at all of them. Um, but the more specific request is from Windstream for the county to be the lead applicant on that grant if you all have no objection. Any objection to Lowndes County taking the lead? No. no. This is extremely important to this community. Yeah. So I vote for it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We'll take care of that. On October the 5th, um, staff, along with the county attorney and the chairman, attended an ACCG local option sales tax meeting. Um, the end result is that we are putting a plan in place to gather the research data that we will need to formulate our proposal related to local option sales tax. And at your February retreat, we will have an in-depth report for you on that so that you can give us some direction and we'll be ready to move forward. Also, the Regional Commission's annual appreciation dinner for elected officials in Adel is on October the 26th, which would be the normal day of our next meeting. And so the chairman has asked staff to move the regular meeting to that Monday evening. So we would have the work session on Monday morning at 8.30 and then the meeting on Monday at 5.30 so that you all are all available to attend um, the, the um, dinner in Adel. Also, flu shots, a couple of you have asked about that. I checked with HR, and they will be available for county employees at various locations to meet any of our shift requirements on October the 26th and 28th, and then we will also leave that open at Airport Medical until the end of November for anyone who would like to stop by. Um, also, we're putting together communication for the employees. I think there'll be some skeptic skepticism, maybe some confusion about the vaccine versus flu shots, and so we're putting together some FAQs to hopefully clear that up. Also, the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office and the Boston Police Department have moved trick-or-treating until October the 30th, so you all might get some questions about that. It seems to be the talk of the town right now, um, so let me know if there's any problems there. And then also, I just want to thank everyone for the river cleanup this past Saturday. Some of you participated, certainly engineering and um, Megan with public information were extremely involved there. Um, we had a great turnout thanks to Walls. Um, certainly the Quartermans were a great part of that and we appreciate their partnership um, and we look forward to the river cleanup next year. Um, and planning for the holiday season has officially begun. So with the work at the historic courthouse, we're planning an alternative for um, our tree light this year will be at the city and, and we're looking at some changes in our decorations. Good. Thank you. Thank Great you. Board as always. Appreciate it. All right.